Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. And we have a very exciting live stream for you all today as we are joined by the newest member of the News 8 family, meteorologist Blake Harms is here. Blake, thank you for coming in and let me be one of the first people to welcome or rather welcome you back to West Michigan. Yeah, thank you, Phil. It's good to be back and I got back just in time for all the snow. So. Yes, <laughs> yes, no, definitely. We could not have planned this out any better <laughs> if right. we tried. Uh, Blake, obviously you do have a pretty prominent presence here in West Michigan. This is where you are originally from and you've spent lots of time covering weather here. But for a lot of people, you know, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, kind of let everybody know sort of a little bit about your career and your time spent here in West Michigan. Yeah, so I was born and raised right here in West Michigan. Uh, my parents still have a place in Hudsonville and that's where I was throughout school. Went to Hudsonville Public Schools and then uh, the only time I was away was went to school at Mount Prezo University down in Indiana, same place as Ellen. Uh, and David Horak, so there are a few of us Valpo grads here, and Amy Fox, our assistant news director. So there's a whole crowd of, of Valpo grads here. And then uh, I went to uh, WLNS TV, which is the sister station for Wood in Lansing, and that's where I spent about a year and a half uh, before coming back here to town. So uh, I've, I've spent much of my life here in Michigan, which I'm very grateful for. Yes, definitely. And if uh, all, everybody that is watching us on Facebook right now, you can actually see in the middle of your screen some photos of Blake and his time as a meteorologist, including his time spent here as an intern. Blake, is there any specific memory that you have, whether as an intern or in Lansing or maybe even at Valparaiso, or that you can that really sticks out to you? You know, maybe kind of reminds you and makes you think about uh, all the things you love about being a meteorologist. Well, I would say it's the the team here. Uh, you know, past and present. So uh, Kyle Underwood when he was here, uh, and then obviously the people who are still here, Bill Steffen, Matt Kirkwood, Terry DeVore, and Alan Baca, uh, they've all been absolutely fantastic. And they took a lot of my questions when I would tweet at them when I was in high school, you know, wondering about uh, snowfall forecasts and whatnot, and they put up with me, and, and they've really helped me throughout uh, this path, and, and that was what really made me realize that I wanted to be here at Storm Team 8 was just uh, the exceptional experience and, and how kind they are and how good they are at their jobs. And so. Um, I would say just staying in touch with them throughout my, my high school, my college years, uh, starting to do the, the school closing predictions a few years ago, and then continuing that is kind of what, what sticks out to me the most. And we are going to touch on those school closing predictions in just a moment, but Blake, I'm understanding that you have always been interested and fascinated by the weather. What is it about it that made you really enjoy learning more about it as a, at a young age? Yeah, well, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so blessed to be, or feel so blessed to be, uh, born and raised here in West Michigan was the variety of weather, right? We come, uh, people who, who are here understand that <laughs> uh, that comes with a lot of a change in conditions. Obviously, uh, we're seeing system snow today. We have lake effect snow expected later this week. During the summer, we get some nice thunderstorms. We get, you know, some occasional uh, uh, heat waves, but for, for all intents and purposes, it's, it's manageable. And so I think the variety of weather kind of keeps us on our toes. And um, I always enjoy that challenge aspect to where uh, it it kind of does feel like the seasons come at a perfect time to where we get to, to enter a new season of forecasting and forecasting something different. And that's what I, I really enjoyed about West Michigan. And once again, Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk being joined by the newest member of the Storm Team 8 weather team. It is Blake Harms. And again, uh, we are asking everybody, if you're watching us on Facebook, maybe drop down a hello or a welcome to Blake. We want to make him as feel as welcomed as he is. As we've already told him here plenty of times here at Wood TV. Uh, Blake, next question. Obviously, I kind of touched on it earlier. You touched on it earlier about those school closing predictions. Can you maybe talk a little bit for people that may not be familiar with it, what exactly that is? Yeah, so essentially it's just uh, I take a look at school districts across West Michigan the night before. I think there may be school closings, and I assign them a risk of, of basically five levels, one through five, with one being the lowest, five being the highest of what I think the chances are that school districts are going to close the next day. And it's it's not obviously a guarantee, um, which is why I don't do yes or no, but I think it, it's kind of a helpful tool for students uh, as well as you know parents and teachers to kind of plan ahead to know, okay, there's a possibility that I need to get child care in place or... Um, that I need to send you know, kids home with a lecture homework or whatever, what, what have you. And so uh, this will actually be my 10th year doing that, and I believe the fourth for wood, because I started in 2019, so I'll make it the fourth winter. So uh, it's certainly kept me humble all 10 years, but it's been a lot of fun. And, and, we're, in a, and we're in a market here in West Michigan to where um, 
the weather can be very unpredictable and lake effect snow throws a wrench into things and so I think in that sense it works very well here to where uh, it, things can vary a lot from district to district and that's what makes it fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, and it has grown in popularity over the years definitely. Can you maybe touch on why you think it is so popular? Do you think it's just because kids really want to know if they're going to be getting out of school or do you think that there's maybe something else that you add to it that really brings it out in the uh, forefront of a lot of people's minds when it does come to this uh, winter weather? Yeah, well I kind of noticed it was a, it was a, it's a very niche product, right? And I think uh, that was something that really hadn't been done before and I know when I was a kid I was always looking for, you know, using the snow day calculator website, but when it gives you 99% most of the time, not very accurate. So I kind of wanted to create a local twist on it, understanding uh, the tendencies of lake effect snow or system snow or even district by district when schools tend to close and for what. And so I think uh, that is what's really helped it kind of blossom into what it is today. The students obviously want the snow day so they enjoy it, but uh, the teachers like it too because, you know, everyone enjoys a nice day off of work and I think teachers are no exception. Uh, and then parents, like I mentioned, just kind of playing ahead for the day. Uh, to know, okay, well, if there's you know a pretty good chance of my, my kids are going to have a day off tomorrow, what do I need to do to get child care in place or, or whatnot? And one of my favorite parts about this, and even now, more so now in the post-COVID era, is that uh, a lot of schools are still honoring snow days, right? So we've seen some schools across the country kind of do the e-learning days, and then there are a few of them doing that here. Uh, but the state is still allowing them snow days and built into the year, and so I think it's really nice. and. And it's a big morale boost for a lot of students and teachers when they can get that snow day. So it's something that essentially everyone looks forward to, and that's what makes it so fun is that uh, it's kind of a bright spot in what it's otherwise a pretty dreary winter here in West Michigan. And once again, Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk being joined by meteorologist Blake Harms. And Blake, we actually have a couple people that want to welcome you back to West Michigan, Sarah and Donald, both wishing their best for you. Um, definitely, though, though, I kind of want to do touch on that because you are coming back to West Michigan. Uh, kind of describe to us what it means to be back here at Wood TV. Again, you did intern here yeah. back in the day, but now that you're back, and you mentioned it's one of your favorite memories, but kind of touch on a little bit more what it means to you to be back. Yeah, so I think a lot of, of people in the broadcast industry, at least the majority of them, you know, they get into it because they grew up watching a station uh, that kind of shows them what it looks like to be in TV news or TV weather. And Wood TV was that station for me, uh, watching throughout my childhood and growing up and realizing, you know, that's what I wanted to do. And so any time you know uh, you have the opportunity to join the station that helped spark all this uh, you know weather interest it is really an, an honor and a blessing so I think that's what makes it so special for me to be working back right. okay. is that these are all the people yeah. that I grew up watching and, and um, you know they're kind of my childhood heroes in a sense like Bill Steffen you know and so now to be working alongside them at the tracking center is really a dream come true. Absolutely. And Blake, before we send you on your way, I've got a couple rapid fire questions. Right. We're just going to kind of get through this just so we can get to know you a little bit more. So starting off, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Oh my goodness. I would have to say pizza and particularly DJ's Pizza in Hudsonville. That's one of the most, uh, uh, the things I was most excited about moving back home was getting DJ's Pizza. So I would say it's my favorite. Yeah, no, pizza's definitely a yeah. safe bet. Uh, next up, favorite color? I would have to go with like a teal or green. You know, Any particular like reason? Not really. No, <laughs> no like I don't have a backstory on that. Yeah. No. Okay, and now welcome me. Uh, now back in West Michigan, what has been your favorite thing ever since you've lived here? Really about West Michigan? Is it the weather? Honestly, I would say it's the lake effect snow. Like uh, we had the potential for to get a pretty good snowfall later this week, and. and Nothing gets me more excited than, than Lake Effect snow. So I would say that's what I'm, I'm most excited about being back here. Mm -hmm. You talk a lot about that snow. Is winter your favorite season? I would say so, yes. I still enjoy you know, some, some uh, nice thunderstorms every once in a while, but, but nothing beats snow for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Are there any TV shows and movies that really stand out in your head to you? Oh, goodness. Um, not really. I watch a lot of news. <laughs> I watch a lot of Wood when I'm home, and I watch a lot of NASCAR. But otherwise, yeah, NASCAR, that's, right. yeah big okay. NASCAR fan. But yeah. that, those, are, those are the two big things. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite driver? I do, Ryan Blaney. Yep, okay. yep, but I'll cheer for this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we kind of touched on this before we started this live stream, but uh, I mentioned how my favorite form of precipitation is snow. If I have to pick one, I'm picking that one. Yeah. Uh, and you talk a lot about your love of snow. Is that sort of your favorite form of precipitation as well? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I would. Um, it's it's hard to think of one that's yeah. better. I mean, there are obviously some variations of snow, like sleet or grapple, but I would say the classic snowflake would be my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
definitely. And last up, uh, coming from Birmingham, I had never heard of this, but you being a West Michigan native, I hope that you understand a little bit more about this and can tell me about it. What is Superman ice cream, and do you approve of it? You know what? First of all, I do approve of it. I have eaten it, but I'm not sure I or really anyone could explain to you what it is. I know it's, oh, I want to say it's like cherry, and I don't know the other flavors, but it's, you know, red, uh, red, blue, and yellow uh, colors. And again, I don't know <laughs> what they are, but it is very good. I am a big fan of Hudsonville ice cream for our obvious reasons, being from Hudsonville. Um, and I love a good old tub of, of uh, Superman Hudsonville ice cream. So I'll have to get you some. See, how you, you haven't had it yet, right? No, I have not. Okay. Ma- maybe maybe wait for it to warm up a little bit. I don't think I could handle yeah. it with the snow yeah. and the ice cream all at once. That's but right. yeah, definitely. I will take you up on that. Good. Yeah, good. but Blake, I want to thank you again for joining us today on the Wood TV Live Desk. Really appreciate it. And we definitely look forward to seeing you on the newscast a lot more, and especially for the school closing predictions but we're actually going to be seeing a lot more of you on the live desk in the coming days as people start to plan out their travel plans for thanksgiving and also we have the winter outlook coming up later this week that special airs at 6 p.m on wood tv and we will also be doing a live talk back with some of the meteorologists regarding their findings uh on the live desk at 1 p.m on friday so mark your calendars for that blake again thank you so much for stopping by yeah thank you phil for having me it's going to be a busy week i think we may see some if the forecast holds some school closings on friday so it's going to be a busy week and we're looking forward to tracking it yeah no definitely and i want to thank everybody so much for tuning in to this latest edition of the live desk courtesy of wood tv and we hope to see you next time right here